Happy Homebrew Wednesday, kids. This is uh, batch number four this week. Full disclosure, Brock brewed one of them, but this is batch number three for me alone. Uh, I guess we need to gear up and brew beer for summer or something? I don't know. I don't know if this is NHC just uh, manifesting in my brain or what, but uh, this is a little Citra Galaxy IPA that uh, I had pretty high hopes for. So uh, let me put this stupid camera down and I'll uh, tell you what's going on. <laughs> okay, so I'm just weighing out some hops, sweet farmhouse hops, Citra and Galaxy. How loud is that fucking radio? Not that Jerry Reed can ever be too loud. But, four ounces of Galaxy, four ounces of Citra. I think I'm going to put them all in the last five minutes of this beer. Just what I got to do. Um, so, so far, I, you, saw, you saw it boiling. Um, I just first wort hopped with uh, one ounce of Sriracha Ace. So I've got, uh, eh, we'll call it, I don't know, maybe it's three-tenths of an ounce left, so that's going to go in probably at five minutes with two ounces Citra, two ounces Galaxy, and we'll probably do a uh, 20 or 30 minute Whirlpool with two ounces Citri, Citri? Citrixy. Um, two ounces of both. Uh, I don't think I'm going to dry hop this beer. I'm going to try and just just hammer it late and see if how much aroma I can get to come through um, for a couple of reasons, really. Uh, one, because I just want to try it, and two, I'm kind of trying to turn this beer around in uh, three weeks. I want to have it done by the 18th of July, and today is the 25th of June. So that gives me 22 days, basically, to get it fermented, cleared, kegged, and carbonated. Um, and I think if I try to dry hop it, I'm just I'm just not going to meet that uh, that goal. So we're not going to dry hop it. Um, but the rest of the week. Uh, last Saturday, um, my buddy Brock, who is who's very camera shy, but I think Jake might have might have actually gotten him on camera, unbeknownst to him, which is funny. Um, but Brock and his wife Lisa came over, um, and we brewed some beer. And Jake, uh, Super Brewers Jake, was here too. Um, all drinking beer, brewing beer. Um, we drank all the uh, the beers we brought back from NHC. Um, Drank some other other crazies. Have uh, introduced Jake to the the beauty that is uh, half grapefruit sculpin and half habanero sculpin. So that was nice. Um, but uh, Brock brewed a wood tick wheat. Not really wood tick wheat, but at one point he thought there was a wood tick in his in his boil. Um, but it's a peach, like an American peach wheat. So that'll be interesting. That's in the fermentation chamber right now. Um, and I brewed a northern brewer recipe, the Synchronicity Extraordinaire, I think. It's basically a wheat saison um, that's got lemongrass and sweet orange peel. Uh, but rather than saison yeast, I used this, uh, this new dried yeast, uh, Belgian Abbey? Abbey? Belgian Abbey? I don't know. It's the, Ab the new Abbey yeast from, from the same people that make, like, the US 05 and stuff, so... Um, we'll try that. I just racked it over to a, to a littler carboy today because the crowds in it basically dropped. It's only down to like 1020, so it's still got work to do, but I basically needed room in the fermentation fridge, uh, for this IPA. So just shuffling beer basically. And then Tuesday I brewed, um, a beer called Sex in a Japanese Canoe. Um, I'll let you let that sink in for a second. Good. Uh, it's basically a uh, just an American blonde, but it's it, the only hop throughout the whole thing is Sriracha Ace, which is a Japanese uh, descent hop. Um, so basically, you know, I'd make different versions of this Centennial Blonde recipe from Homebrew Talk, which is a is a great recipe. Um, but you can kind of tweak the hops around, and uh, it, it always comes out good. It's a super solid malt bill. So uh, we made that. We we call it Sex in the Canoe a lot because it's fizzy yellow beer. Sex the canoe. It's fucking close to water. Uh, anyway. So that's it. That's three beers done. The Citra Galaxy IPA that I don't have a clever name for yet. Um, so if you, need, you know any clever names, put them down below.
Um, we'll bang that one out uh, this afternoon, get them fermenting, and uh, should be good to go. Taking the kids camping this weekend, so no brewing this weekend, so I figured I better knock it all out during the week. Um, so yeah, let me uh, probably finish this beer up, pour myself a beer, because right now, no beers. So uh, I'll finish this beer up, let you know kind of how it all came out. Um, maybe I'll shoot video of throwing stuff in a kettle. I mean, it's basically these into a bowl, into the kettle. You've seen it. You know what it is. So uh, anyway, till later. All right. I didn't take video of throwing the hops in, but I think all, all homebrew nerds like a little hop sludge porn. It's kind of faded now, but this may Okay, that's brew day done. Two weekday brew days, one week. Yeah, I do. Mm. Damn, that's good. It's a pint of the Y-E-T IPL. It's a big pile of mandarin orange and melon. It's delicious. If you ever get a chance to use this hop, I suggest do it. Uh, it's good stuff. So anyway, that's my brew day. Four beers on the run right now. Two of them just uh, fermenting ambient in the basement, which right now is about 68. So those two spent a little time in the fermentation chamber. Now they're out on their own. Uh, just put this Galaxy Citra Sriracha Ace IPA in the fermentation fridge. That's it's sitting at 66. So that'll go for probably through the weekend, and then I'll check on it Monday, uh, see what's happening. So I've been a busy boy. Now I gotta be a busy boy and empty some kegs. Cheers to that. Anyway, happy homebrew Wednesday. Yandu nerds.